What deep, dark secret did you learn about the seemingly perfect family? Throw away time. My grandmother is directly related to Kim Il Sung. She performed as a kindergartener in front of him. Her family ran away to South Korea when the war began. And she grew up relatively poor. Full stop. My grandpa on my mom's side had another family on the side. When he died my grandmother's name was put on his gravestone. The other family chiseled it out. Also my oldest aunt on my mom's side isn't blood related. Didn't learn that until I was 23. They kept their handicapped son locked up oh most people didn't even know he existed. They made his room like a padded cell and just left him in bed all the time with a nurse coming to bathe. Feed and rotate him. His parents didn't even talk to him or look at him often. The mum remarried when her kids were quite young to a new perfect stepdad. Roll on 10 years and the 15 year old daughter notices something in the bathroom while she's showering. Webcam. Via the stepdad. That's not the darkest part though. The darkest part IMHO is that her mum forgave him for filming her 15 year old daughter in the bath and on the toilet. Told the daughter she would always put her husband first and arrange for her daughter to go and live with her nan. I grew up with a girl down the street who lived with her mom and stepdad. Stepdad was pretty cool. According to 7 year old me. Nice guy. Come to find out. He'd been raping my friend for years. It had been going on so long. Had been so normalized to her. That she thought I was doing that with my dad. And our other friend was doing it with her dad. To her. Your father. Figure. Having sex with you was just something you did. I was too young to know what happened at the time it was discovered. But I do remember my mom asking me if he had ever touched me and her being very concerned he might have hurt me. Years before I found out what actually happened. My parents were in a cult for years that worshipped chaos magic. I worked at an Amazon store. The owner of the place hired this kid whose parents went to his church. The day he was supposed to start. The whole family shows up. Mom. Dad. Son. They all start working. The guy was too spineless to let them go. So they all got hired. They were pretty much bottom of the barrel workers. And just kind of kept themselves aside from pleasantries. We were kind of a rowdy bunch and they didn't fit in. And also three of them did the work of one person. My co-worker started referring to them as the Dharma family. Cause the father resembled Jeffrey Dahmer and they were all a little bit too idyllic and Christian. Then it started to get weird. The son regularly called out. Citing stomach issues and saying certain tasks made his legs tired and things like that. Mr. Dharma started having these intense fits of rage where he would go off on us for minor things. Ms. Dharma started to become strangely attached to me and regularly bought me strange gifts like holistic headache creams, a neti pot, organic tea, etc. Years later I find out that the son had AIDS. The mother and the son were a little too close for that age. The father eventually got caught doing some strange things and they got a divorce. Miss Dharma, on my last week working there, started asking me about demons and things. On my last day she gave me this manila envelope that had this 30 page manifesto she written as a letter to me about how she was infested with demons and all kinds of crazy song of Solomon type things. She thought I was infested with demons too. But hey, I still have that neti pot. She was sleeping with his brother. At 60 she divorced him and married the brother. The most shocking part is that all three eventually ended up back on friendly terms and were invited to the next three weddings of the husband. The wife and brother did not live to see the fourth. That they were actually perfect. Honestly, I've learned a lot of deep, dark secrets about a lot of families. What freaked me out the most was learning that an actual leave it to beaver type family could exist. Took me years to learn how to deal with it. They're deep in debt. Nobody must know. I have yet to prove that the family next door is in witness protection or a spy family. I'm on to you John. When I was a kid I knew a set of twins who were friends with my older sister. The twins, both female, were straight A students and always dressed modestly. Neither girl was allowed to date and their parents owned a huge house with multiple cars and the girls never seemed to want for anything. Anyway, a few years later the parents were busted because apparently they owned another house a few streets away less lavish, and they were running a brothel out of it with girls the same age as their daughters. 
who were around 18 at this time and both in university. I just found it very ironic that they were so protective over their own daughters but were whoring out other people's daughters. On my mother's side I have an aunt who decided to steal money from a charity to rebuild a guy's house that recently burned down. It was a small town so all they had was a bin for dollar bills at the local bar. She took all of it and the next day had some expensive new shoes. And on my dad's side my grandfather was some weasel face con man who cheated a church, celebrities, and politicians so he could live without working. But one day he and one of the largest sport memorabilia collections on earth disappeared. He apparently was killed in a mob hit. I have a cousin out there that my whole family has never met. My grandparents were the nicest people but apparently my aunt got pregnant as a teen and they sent her away to have the baby and give up for adoption. I believe this would have been sometime in the 60s or even late 50s given her age. One of my parents told me this a while ago once and I've never heard anyone in my whole family ever mention anything about it other than that one time. It's not the worst secret ever, but my mother still keeps in touch with her first boyfriend. The family of her ex are a perfect family from an outsider's view, and I have assumed this to be true for the last 35 years. They are all so polite and welcoming. I recently learned that the woman my mother's ex married beat the children until they were 18. And that the two daughters hate each other, when the daughters are out socially they put on the front of a perfect family unit and pretend to get on well. Not that shocking, but crazy if you know them and how well they present in public. Not so much deep and dark, but old school agricultural family. The daughters are just discarded. You're your husband's responsibility now. The sons are given everything. Not something that plagues the family but I have an ancestor that was mutinied on the high seas. There are the ones about my family I've told before, we aren't perfect, but things like attempted axe murdering grandfather are pretty crazy secrets, but as a kid I hung out with a dude who was part of a perfect family it seemed. His mom was an Olympic rower and his dad was some super cool business exec. We were good friends from like 12-14 or so, then different school. I found out his mom died of cancer like the year later, was very sad. Then the next year, it came to light the dad was sexually abusing him and his two little sisters. And had been maybe forever. He went to jail for that. It was one of those floor falling out of the world things. Poor guy. Perfect kids. Perfect husband and wife. Respected members of the community as the dad was a doctor. Partnered with another similarly respected doctor in the town. A few years later a polite notice appeared in the newspaper that they were ending their partnership. Nobody batted an eyelid. Things continued as normal. Fast forward about 20 years later. And I find one of the daughters on Facebook. We went to school together and I happened to be a patient of the dad so I asked how he was doing. Dad is estranged from the family. That practice they partnered with. He was having an affair with the wife and they ran off. That's why they ended it, but to save face they just made it seem like a professional split and he retired. Very few people know the true story. Family whose parents were popular and well liked in the area back when they were in high school. Their daughters were all popular and well liked as well in high school. They were all the type of people that had no strong opinions and did not care to argue. Just kinda positive people. People automatically were kind of drawn to them and for that everyone in town likes them. They have some ownership in a local dealership too and their girls are on a lot of the commercials. One day, one of their daughters, same grade as me back in high school, let it slip to me that she found a hidden camera in the pool changing room at their pool house. She said it in kind of a oh yeah, haha shrug found a camera. My dad is so silly. It kind of seems like she was assuming he put it there to catch them drinking. But she realizes that it was probably more than that but she just figures boys will be boys type thing. The dad looks like the creepiest mother ducker ever and he has been likely videotaping. Not only his daughters, but all of their female friends which is like nearly all of the popular high school women in my town. I have a very small family of about 7 people. Growing up everyone would get together for events and everything seemed pretty normal and everyone seemed to get along. It wasn't until I was a teenager that I noticed that everyone in my family actually hates the it out of each other and it was just some huge contest to see who had become the better person over the years. My mother and my grandmother are the only ones who talk to each other. And it's probably only because they live together. My grandmother and grandfather are separated. 
and my grandmother only calls him every few months to see if he's dead or not. My grandpa knew and grew up with Joseph Menchel. My grandma still denies the experiments that happened in Auschwitz, not the killing, but rather Menchel's role in Auschwitz. Just to note, my grandpa said that he didn't like Menchel, even as kids. He was self-centered and ruthless. My uncle had a kid with some lady and his family does not know, but is almost common knowledge in his side of the family. This isn't my family but I absolutely have to share this. The only reason I am is it's been about 2 years since they discovered, and are more comfortable joking about it now. I never asked about the aftermath. I know 2 girls who are sisters who had their family issues and whatever, but were happy with each other for the most part. Their dad always went on business trips and he wasn't home a lot. It did seem kind of suspicious because he was a chef I think. Or he made recipes for a kitchen. Something weird where it didn't really warrant business trips, but I don't think they really thought anything of it. It turns out the sister's family is actually his second family, and the other family had two brothers who were both older than the sisters. He had put three stroke four of the kids through college and the fourth was currently in school. They found out because the other mother of the other family was digging on Facebook one day and found a picture of their dad and the girl's mom. She sent the sister's mom a death threat, and they pieced it together from there. It wasn't even my family, but I was absolutely floored by this. Not necessarily dark, but before going to college, I was told that I had an uncle that I had never met. My grandfather cheated on my grandma with his secretary, and ended up getting her pregnant. She caught him when going through his bank statements, and noticed that he was paying child support to a woman that she had never heard of. Originally, my parents weren't supposed to tell us until my grandma passed away. She was too embarrassed and hurt by my grandfather's infidelity for us to know that we had an uncle. When my mom told me about him, I was able to determine his age and his middle name. It turned out he was only two years older than me and still lived in the same county as where he was born. I spent six months scouring Facebook and sending strangers messages about unknown family members. Eventually, I was able to find him. When I did find him, it turned out he was struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. I told him I wouldn't bring him home to meet his brothers, nieces, nephews, etc. Until he was clean and sober for a year. And that if he tried to reach out before that, I would make sure he had no contact with our family moving forward. It was a hard thing to tell someone at 19 years old. But he took it seriously and got clean. A year later, I brought him home to meet his brother, my dad. For the first time. It was weird. I met my friend's grandparents and they are your typical kind white doily toting American grandparents. They literally have the cutest old people house in the world and they're extremely friendly. Turns out for a time in the 60s or 70s they were in a sex cult. It's an open secret that my friend's uncle is actually the child of the grandmother and the cult leader.